Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make easy lemon herb baked chicken breast. This is a super easy and super flavorful way to make perfectly juicy chicken breasts in the oven. To start, you'll need half a cup of lemon juice, and I like mine freshly squeezed, so I'm gonna cut some lemons in half and juice them until I have half a cup. It took me about two and a half lemons to get to half a cup, but that always varies just a little bit. Now, while you still have your lemons out, you should also slice some. We're gonna place these slices on top of our chicken breasts while they bake. So you wanna slice them kind of thin. No need to cut them thick. You can see my thickness here. They're actually pretty thin. Next, we're gonna make the rest of our marinade. You can do this in a shallow dish, but today I'm gonna use a gallon-sized resealable plastic bag. So I'm gonna pour my lemon juice into that bag along with two tablespoons of olive oil. Then you'll need two teaspoons of lemon pepper, a teaspoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna add our four boneless, skinless chicken breasts straight into the bag. Then we're gonna seal up our bag and we're gonna squish this around so that everything gets mixed up and the chicken gets evenly coated. You can let this marinate in the fridge for 30 minutes or up to eight hours if you wanna make it ahead. When you're ready to bake, you'll want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll lightly grease a little baking dish with a little nonstick cooking spray and add our chicken breast just lay them out in a single layer. And a little food safety tip for you, make sure you discard any extra marinade, don't just drizzle it on the top. Then we're gonna lay those lemon slices that we sliced earlier right on top of our chicken breasts. Then we're gonna bake these in the 450 degree oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. That high roasting level heat will actually produce a much more juicy chicken breast. So make sure you get that oven temperature all the way up to 450 degrees. And then the actual amount of time that it takes to cook chicken breasts does vary based on the size and thickness of your chicken breasts. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So you'll want to use a meat thermometer to ensure 100% accuracy. You're looking for an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Now our chicken should be just about cooked through, but if you want a little brown on top, what you'll do is actually switch it to the broiler setting and let it broil until browned, which will take about two to three minutes. And then that's it, you are ready to eat. If you wanna add a little bit more color, you can garnish with some freshly chopped parsley. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.